This is Miss Reverend James. And uh, I'm very thankful that I got this podcast right now. I praise the Lord that I got it and thank Him. And I hope that you all will be blessed by each and every podcast that I sent out to you. That the Lord will bless you and guide you and protect you and heal you. God bless you all. Thank you. This is Reverend James. And welcome to my podcast. Today I want to talk about spiritual food. Not the food that we eat physically, you know, to keep our bodies going. But spiritual food, you know, that comes from God. <clears throat> a lot of people don't really understand it. You know, they, they, they compare it with what the food they eat. And it's not. It's, it's spiritual food. God's word. God's blessings. Uh, the teachings of, of the church, you know. We, we as Christian brothers and sisters in the Lord, man, we... we uh, we look towards the Lord for, for understanding and growing in our faith. And what better way is the Bible? The Bible is a blessing. It's God's word from the front book of it to the end of it. You don't just take the front and then do away with the middle and then just have the end because that's, that's you know, that ain't serving the purpose of our lives and our walk in the Lord. You know fellowshipping helps spiritually help you you know because God uses other Christians to lift you up and guide you in special ways Uh, you know prayer is the number one thing man number one thing that you can communicate with God I mean you can talk to him just regular talk but prayer is directly to him and you know it's through the Lord Jesus Christ that we get to the Father because it happened way back in Adam and Eve man when they sinned they shut that door between us and God there was no communication only when when God decided on certain ones throughout the Old Testament like Noah Abraham Isaac Joel Job and you know David you know the list goes on but you know we are we are in the New Testament right now we are in the New Testament where Jesus Christ came and all those that accept him as their personal Lord and Savior are saved in the family of God so we are able to communicate now and you know that's a blessing in disguise you know and spiritual food, you know, when we study the Bible, we need to study it through and through, man. And if you don't understand the Bible, go to a brother and sister in the Lord that will help you, man, they, that, that has the knowledge of God. And let's just go to the Lord right now in prayer and uh, give him thanks. Heavenly Father, I, I come to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit that lives in us. That you just guide us and comfort us and and show us the way that we we hunger for your spiritual food, Lord, and, and that you just fill us up full, you know, like like running water that fills up a, a cup, you know, it, it, let it run over. And I want to pray for all those that are sick right now with the COVID and any other disease, cancer and. The list goes on, and I ask that you just heal them and guide them and watch over their family members and friends that are standing by their side, that you just comfort them and give them a mind of peace. In your holy, precious name, Lord Jesus Christ, amen.